How do we know for sure when a fact is really reliable? When it's something we can depend on, when it's something we know is really true? And that's a rather slippery answer because, in fact, <laughs> if you will, scientists don't have that much respect for facts. Those of us who work in science know that although many people think it's just a, a huge conglomeration of facts, a mountain of facts, that these are really the slipperiest items that we work with. Facts change. They don't hold up all the time. They're not exactly untrue, although sometimes they do come undone, but they almost always need some sort of revision. That the next generation of scientists with the next generation of tools <clears throat> will be able to revise your facts in some way or another. Enrico Fermi once famously was asked how, um, how often science changes, and he said, with every funeral, meaning that you have to sort of clear out some of the old ideas occasionally to see a new one appear, to see the same fact in a new light. So famously, I suppose you could say uh, Isaac Newton, the greatest physicist maybe in all of history, was in a certain way wrong. I mean, his formulas were correct, were able to put people on the moon, built buildings and bridges and all sorts of things with the formulas that Newton devised. But Einstein, of course, came around and revised them and showed us that while Newton's formulas were correct, his ideas were actually quite wrong about gravity and things of that nature. And so facts change and, and we don't really know when we know something. Uh, that's why we're often better off trying to figure out what we don't know.